Hi folks, it's Dave here from the I Ready podcast, giving you my post-match reaction to the match which has just finished at Ibrox, where unfortunately our European dream for this season is over as we have been defeated 1-0 by Benfica in the Europa League. Guys, it wasn't for effort, it wasn't for grit, it was more a game of fine margins as we're about to get into, but... We'll start with the starting eleven that Philip Clement put out for this game and only one change from the last two matches due to mostly injuries. So the team that was put out was Butland, Tavernier, Goldson, Suter, Rudvan, Lundstrom, Diomande, Lawrence, Silva, Dessers and Scott Wright in for the injured Dujon Sterling. On the bench, McCrory, the return of Todd Cantwell, Matondo, Ruth, Davies, Barisic, King, Raskin, McCosgland, Mayfleco, Fraser and McKinnon. So the opening five minutes of the game was a few misplaced passes by Rangers. Benfica not able to capitalise on them, which was a, a good sign. So they, they basically came to nothing. But then on the 10th minutes, a sort of mad three minutes of play. And this is how the game was certainly going to go in the first half. It's great pressing by Rangers, as they did throughout the whole game. Deep in the Benfica half, Diomandi, he wins the ball, plays the ball out to Silva, who is in the box over to Scott Wright, who was at the byline, who puts the ball back to Dio Mandy again, but the ball is cleared. Really, really good play. But then Benfica break from there, pile on the pressure into the Rangers box. The ball was uh, cleared to the halfway line then, one back by Tom Lawrence. He plays a great one-two, gets the ball back, gets his shot off and fumbled by the goalkeeper out for the corner. So real end-to-end -end stuff there. The corner, though, like a pattern of tonight's game, didn't come to anything and Benfica managed to clear. But from the corner, Benfica then cleared the ball and break and they get to the edge of the Rangers box and shot, thankfully, straight into the hands of Jack Butland. So, like I said, a mad few minutes there, end-to-end -end stuff. 17th minute, great play by Scott Wright, who I thought he had an excellent game tonight. He played the ball out to Tav on the right wing, cross into the box to Dessers, who goes up, but it's headed clear by the Benfica defender and out for the corner. But again, corner comes to nothing. And then on the 31st minute, Benfica have a turn now uh, down the right wing. Cross cleared only as far as the edge of the box and a sort of half shot cross into the box and the attacker heads. But thankfully it goes past the post and out. A minute later, good build-up play by Silva to Lawrence to Dessers. Back to Scott Wright who takes a shot and it's over the bar. Really good play there. One of the best moves of the game. And then a let-off for Rangers in the 36th minute is Lundstrom. He takes a heavy touch of the ball. It lands to Di Maria on the left wing. He's into the box. Low cross and thankfully deflected out for the corner which again thankfully didn't come to anything from uh, Benfica there uh, 38th minute a great break by Wright he beats his man for pace gets to the edge of the box turns his man again finds Lawrence first time to Dessers into the box he shoots good save by the goalkeeper but Dessers way offside Dessers again guys <laughs> If you listen to the pod, you'll know my feelings on the guy. I am trying my best to, to cheer him on, but really didn't offer very much at all in this game for us. That was it at half time though. So nil nil, really good pressing play by Rangers, but just lacking composure in that final third. That was our only issue. Into the second half though, Rangers started brightly. 48th minute, Dio Mandy to right in the middle of the pitch. Right, he runs at the defence, ball into Dessers, who manages to get his shot, but it was deflected off. Off the Benfica defender and out for the corner. Again, corner didn't come to anything. 51st minute Tav on the, the right hand side to Dessers. The Benfica defender gets in front of him and he gets his head to the ball before Dessers. It's just past his own front post and out for the corner. Dessers was complaining that his shirt was being pulled. I think it was a bit of both, to be perfectly honest with you. And then 54, good play uh, into the box. The ball falls for Dio Mandy, who's at the angle, gets his shot, but saved by the keeper. 
with a minute later, Benfica on the break. Connor Golson, he pulls a Benfica player back who was racing away. He gets a yellow card for that. And then a huge let off for Rangers. It was Dio Mandy who had a, a decent game for us. He gives the ball away on the left wing when we were on the attack. Benfica break at pace. They get down into the Rangers box, cut the ball back. It lands straight at the Benfica attacker, but thankfully his shot was a weak one and straight into the arms. But they had been testing us, they had been growing in composure and only three minutes later Benfica got that dreaded goal and it was a corner to Rangers which again really, really disappointing from us, it gets held up in the box, Benfica managed to clear then there's a, a race on the ball gets to the halfway line and the ball is headed through to the Benfica striker he manages to get into the box, cuts across the defender and fires it past Butland, really Really good strike, but we all thought it was offside. Linesman puts the flag up. It goes to the length of VAR check and you can clearly see that when the ball was played to the Benfica striker, it was still in the Benfica half. So the goal was stood, the goal was given and Benfica were leading one goal to nil. Rangers really needed to do something here. So double subs in the 73rd minute. Lawrence and right off Matondo and Cantwell on. 77th minute, Dessers off, who again didn't really offer much to us, but the the final ball in, in the box wasn't great. So I'm trying not to be too hard on the guy but he came off Kamar Roof on but Benfica since they scored that looked really comfortable on the ball and their confidence was sky high after scoring 82nd minute they had another chance they switched the ball from left to right into the box shot great save by Butland and out for the corner uh, really really good play there 86th minute Dio Mandy off Raskin on 87th minute Yilmaz with a cross into the box it's headed out to Tav at the back of the penalty area a low ball into Lundstrom in the edge of the box who manages to get shot away but unfortunately straight at the goalkeeper really unlucky there and that got to the 90th minute there was five minutes to be added on to that 93rd minute Silva he gets in into the box tries to hold the play up but he stalls too much the ball's nicked away from him but only as far as can't well he shoots Roof slides in, he can't connect with it and the ball goes agonisingly past the post and that was the last chance that Rangers had to get the equaliser guys and the full time whistle was blown, uh, disappointing European football's over for another year. Can't take it away, Benfica were a quality, quality team, uh, we had a fantastic result there last week over in Lisbon and you know two bad own goal by Connor Golson, which we can't do anything about but just shows you it is fine margins at this level of football and it was a good performance tonight, they are a quality team like I said but it just showed you that Benfica had the quality in the final third that when they got that chance they were able to take it and that's what we don't have unfortunately at the moment so like I said plenty of grit and determination from us but the, the lack of quality in the final third just showed for, for us tonight but guys we are not down and out we know that there is still a domestic treble to play for we are still top of the league at this time there are plenty of games to play and we don't have time to sit back and wallow in this because we've got a big game away against Dundee on Sunday so the players will have to be prepared for that so like I said I'm trying not to be too down about this one Europe for me was just an added bonus and we have had some fantastic results again this season but tonight we were up against a top quality team we, we really were so anyway guys uh, I'll leave you to it Derek and I will be back soon for our main pod uh, you all take care out there I'll speak to you later bye bye